Hey everybody, Crypto Mentor 99. It is June the 8th, 2018. And over my right shoulder, there's Razbear. Raz, say hi. There's our dog, Razbear. He's a photo hound, no pun intended. Anyhow, um, I got some more great news. But before I give you the great news, I got to be honest with you. I was so thankful, excited, happy, whatever, when Bitcoin rose like a rocket ship last year, the end of last year. And when it, you know, went down to like, what, 6,200 or something, I kept on telling myself, okay, I know it's going to go up. I know it's going to go up. But it's still way down, like it's still, you know, 58, whatever it was, 6,200. I don't really look at the day-to-day -day price action, but I had to give myself a pep talk. Like, okay, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And then a lot of the FUD kind of stopped in the first quarter of this year. And now we're getting some great news, you know. Xi Jinping is now embracing blockchain technology. Um, I just did a video here. Banks in Louisiana are seeing a digital shift. Um, yeah, so more good news, right? So, and maybe some of you have heard about this, but I'm like, I'm going to do a video about this. I'm going to put it in the description box below. CEO of NASDAQ. Cryptocurrencies can become a fin financial element of the Internet. All righty then. <laughs> I'll take that. According to the president and CEO of the NASDAQ Stock Exchange, the cryptocurrencies are currently at the peak of a cycle of technology maturing, and they can become a financial element of the Internet. I love the way bankers talk. Show me the money. She made the statement in an interview with Bloomberg Businessweek. Answering the question about how NASDAQ refers to advanced technologies and tools such as cryptocurrency, Friedman noted that regarding the interest of the digital assets and when she is ready to start working with them, the corporation takes a research-oriented approach, whatever that means. So take a look at this article. She does say in the article that she regards digital currencies as highly speculative asset class. Well, okay, it may be highly speculative to some people. You know, the older I get, life's a matter of perspective, right? You gotta put things in the right perspective. So according to her, whether she believes this or if this is the company line, she's saying that it's a highly speculative asset class, not a speculative asset class, a highly speculative asset class. I'm not sure what the distinction between the two are. Anyhow, take a look at this article. I thought it was kind of interesting, but the good news is that the NASDAQ is admitting that cryptos can become a financial element of the internet. Why don't we rename this article to CEO of NASDAQ, cryptocurrencies will become a financial element of the internet. Anyhow, let me know what you think. And yeah, I, I think that more and more good news is coming out. We're going to have some more great news over the summer. What, what I just did a video, was it, oh, let's go back to here. It was a really, uh, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go, where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Um, oh, Indonesia legitimizes cryptocurrencies. I did a video just for the heck of it. I'll put it in the link below. But they warmed up after saying that, you know, ICOs are banned and cryptos stay away, this, that, the other thing, 
they've even changed their position and they're going to legitimize cryptocurrencies. I'll put that video in the link below. Anyhow, Crypto Mentor 99, trying to add value to your crypto day. Thanks for subscribing. I've got 2,447 subscribers. I was thrilled when I had 50. I was overwhelmed at 100. I almost passed out at 300. And I'm just kind of persevering. Started August 2017. I'm letting you know what I'm doing, what I'm reading, what I'm investing in. Um... So anyhow, I may not have the best graphics on the internet with YouTubers, but I'm doing the best I can for a 60-year-old. Anyhow, love you guys. We'll be in touch. Bye-bye.